If you have a thousand dollars in your bank account and you want a PC build, then I'm going to show you the best RTX 3070 gaming PC build for that thousand dollars. Now there might be a couple reasons why you may want to go with the RTX 3070 instead of going with an AMD GPU. The main reasons can be content creation, productivity work, ray tracing or even DLSS, even though DLSS in my opinion is not a strong point anymore. And don't worry if you don't understand anything about computers, I will explain what this PC is capable of running. I will give you also alternatives in case you want RGB or you can spend more money or you don't want to spend a thousand dollars, you actually want to spend less money. Everything will be covered in this video as well for the people that don't mind going with an AMD GPU. That being said, let's start. For the CPU, I picked the AMD Ryzen 5 5600. This is in my opinion the best price to performance CPU. It's a 6 core 12 thread processor that is going to get the job done for gaming even at 4 4K if you pair it with a 4K GPU. Then for the motherboard I picked the Gigabyte B550M the S3H. The main reason why I picked this motherboard is because it comes with BIOS flashback in case you need it. It's also really good for gaming, it's not the flashiest out there but it's going to get the job done for the price of $110. Then for the memory kit, I picked the Adara XPG Gamix D20. This is a 16 gig kit 2x8, meaning that it's dual channel, of DDR4 at 3200 MHz CL16 memory. Definitely all that you need for gaming. If you're looking for content creation, then I would recommend you going with at least 32 gigs of RAM, especially if it's heavy content creation. Then for the storage, I picked the Team Group MP33 1TB of Gen 3 SSD, as 1TB is going to be enough for gaming and if you ever need more, you can put another M.2 SSD. Then for the graphics card, of course, the RTX 3070, this is the Gigabyte Eagle model and it's going for 540 bucks on Amazon. Of course, it's not the best price to performance GPU out there and if you don't mind going with AMD, go with the RX 6800. This one is going to give you a much better gaming performance compared to the RTX 3070, so if you're looking for 4K gaming on a thousand dollars budget or you're looking for really high FPS at 1440p, then I would recommend you going with the AMD GPU. However, if you decide to go with the RTX 3070, you are getting a great 1440p GPU. I wouldn't recommend it for 1080p since it's an overkill unless you want the highest FPS out there and I wouldn't recommend it for 4K since it's not really a 4K GPU. You can still play at 4K if your main titles are games like CSGO, Valorant and Fortnite. But if you play games like Fly Simulator then I wouldn't go for 4K gaming with this GPU. For the case I picked the Salman S2 mainly because this is a whole black build and this case is really cheap, it comes with 3 pre-installed fans and from mesh panel, great airflow, definitely all that we need. However, like I said before, you will have alternatives in the video description in case you want an all RGB PC build, which means that you will have alternatives for the RAM, case, and I will also give you an extra CPU cooler for the aesthetics. By the way, you don't need an aftermarket CPU cooler for the Ryzen 5 5600, but if you have an extra 20 bucks on your wallet, then it's actually not a bad option to go with an aftermarket CPU cooler because temperatures will be down and it's also going to be less noisy. Then last but not least the power supply, I picked the Be Quiet Pure Power 11 600 Watt 80 Plus Gold Power Supply. This is a BT rated PSU which is what I recommend when you're going with the RTX 3070. It's not the best price to performance power supply but if you go with anything less it's going to be CT rated and I wouldn't recommend it for this type of build. If you want something more future proof then I would recommend you going with at least 750 watts of wattage but that is going to cost you an extra. Now, before explaining how to upgrade this PC or downgrade it depending on your budget, I want to say that this PC is capable of running every single game at 1440p, 60 plus FPS on average, depending on the settings and depending on the game. For esports titles, you can even achieve 240 plus FPS on average, let's say for example CSGO low settings or even Fortnite competitive settings. And then for games like Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5, you can play these games at the highest settings, 60 plus FPS on average, no problem problem whatsoever. If you play games like Cyberpunk 2077 and Fly Simulator, these are more hard to run video games, however you can still have a smooth experience depending on the settings. Another thing that you will have in the video description is going to be a 1440p monitor that I recommend you pairing this PC build with. The total price for this PC is a bit over $1000, right around $1010 and if you have less money than this then the two downgrades that I will make are the storage and the power supply. 
say. Yes, I said I don't recommend you downgrading the power supply and I stand by that. This is not something that I recommend, but if you can't go to a thousand bucks, then you have to make some compromises. And then the storage, I will go with the Team Group MP33 5 gigs of SSD instead of a terabyte. If this is too low for you, you can always upgrade down the line. But this downgrade is actually not a bad downgrade, especially if you play just esports titles. If you play heavy games like GTA 5 and these type of games, then I do not recommend you making this downgrade. The total price for this system after downgrades is going to be around $960. Then if you have more money, for around $1,100, it's going to be 100 bucks more expensive. I would recommend you upgrading the power supply to the Corsair RM750E. This is an 80 rated 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply and I do recommend you doing this for a more upgradable path like I mentioned before. And then the the other upgrade I've made is the CPU, the Ryzen 7 5700X with a CPU cooler, the ID Cooling SE 224XTS Black Edition. This is a great CPU cooler and the Ryzen 7 5700X is an 8 core processor so this is also better for the future. Just keep in mind the CPU upgrade is not going to give you a huge gaming performance increase right now, especially because we are not gaming at 1080p, we are gaming at 4040p. Now you can also upgrade the case if you don't like this one, but that comes to your personal taste, that's why I didn't include this upgrade. And if you want to upgrade the graphics card, it's going to be much more expensive, right around 180 bucks for the 3070 Ti. But at that point, I wouldn't recommend you going for the 3070 Ti. I would recommend you saving money until you can buy the RTX 4070 Ti instead. Now you can always change components like the CPU and GPU to your liking. However, you can bottleneck this system really easily if you're a beginner. For that reason, I do recommend you watching my video about how to save money when buying a CPU and GPU and not bottleneck your system. Trust me, this is really important if you don't want FPS drops while you're gaming. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.